Good morning. I've got to go to the store this morning. Um, I want to look at some different things. I'm actually going to be shooting part of a video about seed starting. But first, I figured we would check on a couple of farm things that you may be wondering about. These locos started barking and fussing at three in the morning and wanted to go outside. I don't know what they heard out there, but as soon as we let them out, they were barking up a storm. So they're nice and pooped this morning and glad to be back in where it's warm. It is cold. You don't want your jacket? Yeah, I want my jacket. You just tricked me into going outside. <laughs> just said, hey, come outside with me. <laughs> you already have your jacket on. <laughs> I came out last night and checked on Mags and Nestle um, to make sure they weren't going to kid in the night. And Maggie's udder looked markedly larger than earlier in the day. So I put her in a isolation stall and then checked on her again at about 5.45 this morning and she had not had any kids. And I don't know. Now I'm wondering if her udder really did look bigger. I don't no, I, these, these goats, I have no idea. I don't know, <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't even know why y'all are watching me talk about goats as if I know what I'm talking about because clearly I don't. <laughs> they like to keep me on my toes. No babies. We're gonna go check on the quail. Um, I'm very eagerly checking to see if they started laying, which it should be any day. Okay, so I'm gonna... here's some quail, which we need to come through and uh, sex all of them to figure out how many males and females we have. more now, I got these eggs from Alchemist Farms a friend of mine who has a small hatchery in California she sent me the eggs and I hatched a whole lot of them and I ended up giving a lot of them away um, some of which I gave to my friend Andrea over at VW Family Farms they live locally and have a YouTube channel Andrea posted a video this morning that her quail started laying um, the ones she got from me. No, mine have not started laying yet. I am hoping to get eggs soon, but not today. There's nothing out here. You want to check the tent for the greenhouse? Huh? Sure. What was that laugh for? Because I'm sure it's not going to be where we need it to be yet. Feels, feels really warm compared to out there. It's like 40. Not great. Nope. What is the stuff that you got for this? It's just expanding foam for like sealing off like tin roofs and stuff. I've got it on that side. I've just got to make some adjustments and then I got to probably run some up top. Honestly, I think the biggest thing is the door. Yeah. So I've got some ideas to fix the door and make it sealed. Other than that, I think if I can do that, I think we'll be able to get it warmer in here. I'm actually going to start my dwarf tomato seeds in the house later today. Um, and I'm going to be starting them in there and, and uh, probably eventually putting a grow light on them to keep them inside. This is warm enough for the lettuces that I have out here and the brassicas that I've started. You know, 40 will do okay. And it's warming up nicely during the day but I don't really feel comfortable trying to put tomatoes or peppers in here while it's getting this cold at night. It's afternoon and we're about to do something very exciting that I have been anticipating for months, but I can't find my boots, so. Ah, they're downstairs. All right, so I'm standing over here um, on the other side of the garden there's the old spot pig in the garden and this is the part of the property that you don't ever see um this is all ours these trees here and they go right up here and right where those trees in that's the end of our property which is 
about four and a half acres and it's deeper than it is wide so from here all the way up to the corner right there where those trees are yeah, which is what uh, starts the property next door where my mother-in-law lived now everything you've seen on our property so far the garden the goats the pigs uh, the chickens all of that is on about two and a half acres and we have another two here that's wooded that we don't currently use and then of course our horses have been next door in a pasture that was really too small um, and it's cost a lot in bringing in hay for them and of course you have to be very very vigilant with uh, parasites when you when you've got animals on a small space so we've actually been talking with the man that owns the land next door to us about leasing a pasture for our horses and we were just waiting on hunting season to be over and now it is uh, rifle season is over here in Arkansas and we are actually moving our horses over here to our lease today and I am so excited so we're just walking over here right now Maya is coming on the four-wheeler I'm walking over here with the kids and uh, he's gonna just check the fence line and make sure it's all good before we bring the horses over here for very long you've heard us say before that we always take the money that we make from our Amazon affiliate links and sharing here on YouTube and we take that income and we put it back into uh, bettering our channel our farm and we have bought things in the past like um, electric fencing for our pigs well we just made another big purchase from the money that we saved up from our Amazon affiliate links and y'all will get to see some footage from it in this uh, vlog there it is that was Jeremiah's thing. He's really excited about that, aren't you? It's a GoPro 7 for those of you who don't know. Horses are going to love this. I think so too. Um, this field that our horses are going to be put in, it's 90 acres. So it's quite a lot. Eventually there's going to be some cross fencing and we won't have access to that much of it. But as of right now, it's 90 acres. So Jeremiah is um riding around the fence line just to make sure that it's all secure before we let them loose out here when we got our horses they were all rescues and um, we were actually at the time leasing a pretty good piece of property across the street but then some circumstances arose after a while and we were no longer able to keep them there and um, the owner just had some family stuff come up and we had to move them Look at those bad dogs. You are not supposed to be out. How did they get over here? So we adapted and we moved the horses at that time to a uh, pasture we had access to next door. And it was really too small. It's been expensive, not ideal at all. And we've been looking for other options. Um, this was what we really wanted. We wanted to get access to this land because it is adjacent to our property and we were finally able to work this out um we're super excited and this moment when we bring our horses out here and let them loose where they have plenty of room to run and uh graze i've been waiting for this uh for over a year i have just imagined this moment because i know they're just going to take off and it's going to be fantastic and get the, we're going to go mommy but mom can i take off this jacket and go to it and get a different jacket no let's just wear that one because you might get more dirty and we'll just wash it when we're done is it bothering you that you got muddy okay we gotta go hey, put our goofy dogs up um because they saw that we went next door and came to tell us we forgot to take them so we're gonna go put them in their crates. There's the rooster crew. We need to catch all these goofs and put them in there with the pigs so they can scratch down their mess. You're careful. You want me to take him? All right, so this is Luke. He is a paint. He is the oldest of our horses and he's mine. Um, all of our horses need to learn manners again because since we moved them, um, they have not been worked in the round pin. Come on. Come on. One. 
<laughs> that moment where they take off running is the moment that I've been waiting for for over a year. We are now headed down with Cyrus, our third horse, final horse for, we only have three. You ready to run? No. <laughs> I can't prance. What do you think? Feels good, huh? I'm sure it feels better for them. <laughs> uh, that was a very satisfying moment for me seeing them run so happy. Mm -hmm. I feel good about where we're at with everything. Yeah, so we're walking back home. That was a Holding lot. Holding hands, because we're in love. <laughs> we'll have more horse stuff, as I know many of you have wanted to see them. There just hasn't been much to show. But now we're gonna uh, try to set the round pin up, probably up here, and start working them again, and riding them again. So we're really excited about that. Thank you all for hanging out with us today. We're out of breath. That was a bit of a <laughs> bit of an ordeal. It usually is. But we bless y'all. Until next time. What did you get into? You're filthy. He was hunting. Because he's a wild lion. King of the farm.